UCSF infectious disease expert Dr. Monica Gandhi joins us now. And Dr. Cal OSHA talking about mandating masks at work unless every employee in a room is fully vaccinated. Different from the CDC guidance on the indoor mask wearing. Which one of these do you think seems right? You know, the CDC mask guidance is correct. And where is that correct? Because really when they messaged it on May 13th, and I know we weren't ready for it, and I think waiting a month was, was absolutely appropriate, but what the CDC mask guidance said is that if you're fully vaccinated, you don't need to wear a mask inside or out. And actually the unvaccinated would wear a mask until the case rates are so low that they're no longer at risk for infection. The CDC says about to over 100,000 people having that case rate is a very low level of transmission. We've been in California at that rate actually for almost a full month. And um, they are right that vaccinated people don't need to wear masks. There's nothing magical about a mask. The magic is the vaccine. So because we have hit that rate and we've held it, as you say, for quite a while, that that's the key, holding that low rate? Right. Yeah. That's the key. That's the, actually the, the most important part of this is is how unvaccinated people are protected is not through their vaccination status. They're not vaccinated. Mm. Children can't be vaccinated yet. But what they're protected by is the immunity of others and those low case rates that we get when more and more of us get vaccinated and immune. Right. So, okay, so creating rules for the workplace. Compare that, say, to rules at a restaurant, the baseball game that I went to earlier this week. How different do the rules need to be? Is, is there more of a risk of exposure with coworkers? You know, there's not more of a risk if there's very little circulating virus in the community. So when I read what OSHA is considering, I thought they think they see, seem to think that it could concentrate somehow in a workplace. But if there's very little virus in the community, it, it can't actually concentrate. It just physically won't be there. And so I think it's it, it, the effectiveness of the vaccines is sort of too stunning for people to sometimes, I think, accept how amazing they are. But the CDC is not an uncautious organization. They're very cautious. Mm -hmm. And when they recommended that we don't have to mask when we're vaccinated, um, they were right. And I, I would uh, urge Cal OSHA to do the right thing because it's going to stifle business if everyone is masked. And you have to come here and mask, but you don't have to go to a neighboring state, for example, and mask to come to the uh, lodging and entertainment industry. Yeah, more comfortable too. All right, so we're seeing the number of people getting vaccinated dropping now, both around the country here in California. Governor Newsom some address that today. Here's, here's what he said. For us, it's about just finishing the job and the hardest part, you know, 10% between 30 and 40%, that's easy. Between 70 and, and 75, 80% of adults, that's going to be hard. So therein lies the rub. The state offering these cash incentives to, incentives to people to get vaccinated. Are the incentives going to be effective? Can we get to that 70%, that herd immunity? Yes, I actually think we can get there. And I think there are five strategies, including incentives to get there. President Biden messaged the same thing yesterday. Make it easy for workers. Give them time off work and give them time off work afterwards. Give free child care to people to get their vaccine. Do more public education if we need some more time to think about safety. And fourth is incentives. It works. They absolutely work. And I think it's a great idea. And then the fifth is, frankly, um, having some compassion that people may need a little bit more time and wait for more of their friends and family to get vaccinated. And that's OK, too. But I think it's right what Governor Newsom and President Biden are doing is understanding that we need now to do the hard work to get the remaining vaccinated. Right. Make it easier for people, too. All right, Dr. Monica Gandhi, it's always a pleasure. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you.